Right now we're going to make some light rolls with gluten-free flour. And we're going to start off with uh, a cup and a board of whole milk. And we're supposed to microwave this for 90 seconds. Uh, on the list there's honey on there on one of the ingredients that goes in the bread. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in the cup at this time, a fourth of a cup. Because my honey has some crystals in it, so it'll help them dissolve. And this recipe also calls for a half a stick of butter, which is a fourth of a cup. I've already got it melted, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the milk at this time as well. Microwave it for 90 seconds. While the milk is warming up in the microwave, we're going to measure our flour. And it's, uh, the weight is 444 grams. It's on grams. I like to add, personally, a little oat flour in my rolls. So I go ahead and put in a half a cup, or two thirds a cup, and then I'll finish it off with Bob's Red Mill one to one flour. It's at 444. So we can take that off. We can add our uh, salt at this time, which is one teaspoon. It calls for quick yeast. And we're gonna put one and three fourths in there. One, two, three. We're gonna give this a stir. And as soon as the milk mixture cools down to 115 degrees, we're going to incorporate it with the flour and two eggs at room temperature and a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and we'll mix this all up and I like to put mine in a cast iron skillet so that's what we're going to do today. Get this out, we'll give it a stir and we'll check the temperature of it. If you want a real sweet dinner roll, sweeter than this is, you can add another fourth a cup of honey. I don't like mine that sweet personally. I'm going to put in the two. I'm going to put in the two eggs at this time and uh, stir them in, and the apple cider vinegar, and uh, then we'll check the temperature again. Take this. 
spatula and just stir it in. Let's get it good and incorporated in, in there. I scrape the sides real good, scrape the bottom. Stir it around real good. You don't want no dry lumps of flour in your light rolls. It's not too cool. And this kind of, uh, to me, resembles like a cake batter, uh, the, you know, the thickness of it. It's just like a cake batter or like a muffin. And now we're ready to put it in uh, the cast iron skillet. Now I'm using a ice cream scoop and I spray it or the bread mix doesn't seem to stick to it near as bad by spraying it with a little olive oil or whatever type of pan oil you have. And I just start scooping it and putting it in my pan. Butter the top. 